Good evening and welcome to Star City News. I'm Aaron Trout. Well, police are still investigating the August 13th shooting death of a 21-year-old Lincoln man. Maurice Lamont Williams died of a single gunshot wound to the chest a few hours after what was believed to be a home invasion robbery. Captain John Sundermeyer said that they've made progress on the case, but no arrests have been made. Investigators think that there may be a drug connection in the case, and they're still waiting on the ballistics for the report to determine what kind of gun was used. A 74-year-old Minnesota man died in a collision on Tuesday while heading to the opening of the Husker Harvest days. According to the Nebraska State Patrol, Warren Commander's truck was overturned by another truck that failed to yield at an unmarked intersection. Two men and a 14-year-old girl were hospitalized and released. The other driver was not injured and no charges have been filed. Well, last Tuesday, a Lincoln man was sentenced to 18 months to three years in prison for the theft of a collection of championship rings that were taken from an unlocked display case during renovations to the Devaney Center in March. 29-year-old Dallas Jordan sold two of the rings to an undercover officer late in March for $860. Jordan pled no contest to the charges and in August will receive credit for 165 days served in Lancaster County Jail. Good evening, you're watching Star City News special hour-long pre-election coverage. I'm Aaron Trout. John tells us that Rick has said one of the big difference between being a business executive and being a governor is executives do all they can to grow their business while a governor should try to shrink the government. He's live in the newsroom with Kelly. Now, on average, political candidates spend about 80% of their budget on advertisements. Currently, political attack ads are on the rise. Chelsea Eaton looked into this trend and why candidates are choosing to go negative. Nebraska's federal minimum wage increase has last, was last seen in 2006, and another increase will be seen on the ballot this year. The proposal for a minimum wage increase is called Initiative 425. If it passes, the minimum wage would increase from $7.25 to $9 an hour. The unicameral may be nonpartisan, but some of the ads for other races are as polarizing as ever. What do the viewers get out of political ads? Star City's Joy Carey brings us more. If you're not sure where your polling place is, you can always call the election office at 402-441-7311. Again, thank you for joining us today on our special election pre-election pre coverage. I'm Aaron Trout. President Obama is asking for $75 million to help pay for police body cameras across the nation. Lincoln Police Chief Jim Peshong is not opposed to the cameras, but does feel that the current design is too stationary and the camera should be located on the officer's head and not their body. Monday night, Douglas County Sheriff seized 130 pounds of marijuana on I-80. A deputy stopped 37-year-old Robert, Roberto Garibe because he noticed a large item under a blanket in the rear compartment of the vehicle. This turned out to be a duffel bag containing 110 packages of pot. Garibe was en route from California to Indiana. Well, YouTube has been broken, that's right, due to the 2012 hit Gangnam Style. This video has been watched over 2 billion times, and the site's view counter just couldn't keep track anymore. YouTube is now making upgrades to keep this from happening again.